Good morning everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression review on the Benefit Professional Agent Zero Shine Powder. And um, it's morning so I just got finished doing my face makeup. I have on foundation, um, under eye concealer, and then concealer over my blemishes. Um, let me show you what I used this morning. I use the Naked Skin from Urban Decay Foundation. I use shade 0.5. I'm always allowed to shade in any brand. And I applied it with the Beauty Blender. And then for under my eyes, I use the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter Pen. Um, I like the concealer better, but I couldn't find it, so I bought the highlighter, which still works pretty well to brighten up the under eye. And this is in Fair. And actually, I also use the Beauty Blender for that. I use the pointed tip right up under my eyes. And then for my blemishes, I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer. It's just in a pen like this, and you dot it on your blemishes. I really like this stuff. It's got pretty good coverage, but doesn't feel heavy or look cakey. And this is also in Fair. So um, I'm going to just pull my hair back and drink some more coffee and then I will apply the professional shine powder for you. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit about the packaging first. Here is the professional powder. Um, you'll see it just screws off on the top. Has three little holes and you can slide this open and close which is great for travel because you don't want it spilling all in the cap when you're traveling. At the bottom it screws off and it's got a little brush. You can pop this down and it becomes bigger. And this is what you use once you tap it into the lid. You swirl it with this brush and apply it. So we'll see how good this brush actually works uh, along with the powder. And I also wanted to show you the size. I was pretty skeptical since this cost $30 about how much powder I'm actually getting in here because you really can't tell. And once this brush is in there, I mean, as you can see, there's only like this much left for there to be powder. And so I couldn't see that there would be very much in there. So I wanted a comparison. This container contains seven grams. And so I got out this little deluxe sample size of the Makeup Forever HD powder that I have. And it is actually one gram and only about half of this is full. So that gives you some comparison. Um, this Benefit powder is actually seven of these little bitty sample HD powders. So that made me feel a little bit better, but we'll see how much I actually have to apply to see if there's, you know, enough powder in here to justify $30. All right, well, let's get started. I'm going to pop this open, shake this, swirl it around, tap it in there so that it gets into the brush and taps off some of the ex excess on top. And start applying. I like to press powder, powder into my foundation so that it doesn't move the foundation or the concealer that I've just applied. And so far I can tell that it's pretty mattifying. I have pretty um, shiny eyelids and so I could tell it mattified that right away. And that's all I could do with that much. So I'm doing three or four more taps. And I'm gonna apply to my cheeks. And my nose. Um, the brush is okay. I mean, it's a good size, I guess, but it's a little bit, I mean, it's not as soft as the other brushes I have. And I'm having to put more in the lid to apply to my chin and just you know the other areas where I have concealer because I have concealer 
on blemishes down here that I want to, you know, set. I don't want it to go anywhere. And I'm going to put one more little tap. I think that's what, four times so far. I feel like I'm using a lot of this powder. Okay, and I think I just set it over the blemishes and maybe a little bit under my eyes one more time. Okay, so that's it. Um, like I said, I feel like I used a lot of the product. Close this. But overall, it's it claims to be mattifying, pore perfecting, invisible finish, and ultra lightweight. So we'll see what I can check off on that. It's definitely mattifying. It completely mattified my foundation. The Naked Skin Foundation is um, a natural finish. It's like a demi matte. So it completely mattified the foundation. Pore perfecting, I would say that it definitely um, hid my pores, made the foundation look more flawless and so most pressed powders do that the one I've been using which is the Rimmel stay matte it definitely is pore perfecting and makes my face look more flawless once I put it on invisible finish um, I would definitely say that it did not show up on my skin though it looks a little bit tinted it did not change the color of my foundation at all which is very important to me and then ultra lightweight, obviously, I mean, it feels lightweight. It's a loose powder. Uh, my face at the moment doesn't look cakey. We'll see throughout the day what it does. And so I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup, um, go to work. I'll be back in a few hours on my lunch break, and I'll let you know how it's holding up, whether it actually kept me matte for several hours, and if it's going to be worth the $30 purchase versus the Rimmel Stay Matte or any other pressed powder that you can find. So I will see you in a few hours. Okay, I'm back at lunchtime now. And it's been, let's see, about four hours uh, since I applied the powder. And I just studied my face in the mirror real good, studied my makeup. And I'm still shine free. So... We get a check mark for being shine free for at least four hours. Um, I can tell that within the next couple of hours, I will be shiny on my forehead. I'll probably have a little bit of breakthrough. Um, my cheeks look nice and mattified, and my chin is still mattified right now. That will probably break through in a couple of hours. Those are my two oiliest spots. But as far as you know, going a full morning through lunch without needing a blot sheet. It definitely does that. So my final thoughts on the powder are that uh, it does what it says. It is in a cute little package and it comes with its own brush, which is really convenient. But I will say that I don't think I would repurchase this um, and I probably will take it back since it was so expensive because I have other powders that do pretty much the exact same thing. Um, I just got this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I've been using it all week and I've been using the same foundation all week and the same foundation today so that I could adequate, adequately compare the two. Um, well, you know, just so I have something to go on. And this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder kept me matte up until the afternoon. It had a poreless finish. It didn't change the color of my makeup. It was transparent, just like this one claims. And it's a heck of a lot cheaper. It's only about um, $5 as compared to $30. And so while this is really nice and it does what it says and it's really cute, I just don't think it's worth the money. I think you could go buy another mattifying powder to do the exact same thing. And I know a lot of people like this powder, but I'm gonna give you my honest review and just say that, yeah, it's good, but it's not good enough to spend the money on, in my opinion. Um, I have no problem spending a lot of money on a beauty product if it works. If there's nothing else out there like it, I will shell out $50 if it's like a skin cream and it works amazingly. No problem whatsoever, but $30 for a powder where you don't even get a whole lot of product 
that to me is just a waste of money. So for now, I'm going to stick to my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, both of these were in my haul in my last video, and I'll be taking back the Benefit Agent Zero Shine and sticking with this Rimmel Stay Matte. I really like it, and I feel like you can use a big fluffy brush with this one, and I feel like that gets a better application over my entire face instead of just the oily areas with this little bitty brush. Um, I can tell that since I didn't get to put it absolutely everywhere on my face, uh, I'm starting to cake up a little bit in the laugh lines and a little bit like in the corners of my nose because I didn't really, I guess I concentrated on the top of my nose and not really just everywhere. And so it's starting to cake just a little bit. Not horribly, I can smooth it out with my finger and it's no problem. But I don't think that I've been doing that the rest of this week using this product. I hope you found this review helpful. If you want to continue to see more of my product reviews, hauls, um, all kinds of beauty tutorials, then be sure and subscribe. I know I'm just getting started, but I should have up um, two videos per week. I'm going to try to do them on Mondays and Fridays, give or take a day or two, but I'm definitely going to get out two videos a week. So be sure and subscribe. Give this a thumbs up if it was helpful, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!